Hello everyone. Today we're going to go through a demo of creating a bot in Biddlehub, uh, specifically a Discord bot. Uh, this process is a little bit involved in that um, the process of setting up a bot on the Discord side, you kind of need some insider knowledge about setting up apps uh, in Discord, but we're going to go through uh, in detail, step by step, exactly what you have to do. So hopefully, even if you're not familiar with the Discord process, you'll have enough info to, uh, to make this work. All right, so we're going to start by logging into Biddlehub, and then we'll go over to this new section called Bot Builder, and we're going to create a new bot, and we're going to call this the uh, Discord Test Bot. And it's Discord. Okay. Okay. So at this point, uh, Biddlehub needs the private token for the bot in order to interact with it. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to set up the Biddlehub bot to be the back end um, sort of a functionality of the Discord bot itself. So all interactions will essentially get routed to Biddlehub so that uh, we can respond to user uh, questions or requests or commands. All right, so now we're going to jump over to Discord and set up the bot. So the first thing you have to do is create an application in Discord. So uh, this is at discordapp.com slash developers. So I go to a uh, new application. We're going to call it the Biddlehub test bot. Create that app. Uh, okay, so with an application, um, we need to add a bot. So we're, we go over to this bot section and we add a bot. Yes, we're sure. And what Biddlehub is looking for is this token associated with the bot. So we copy that token and we come back and we paste that in here. And don't worry, we're going to get rid of the bot afterwards. So it's not a security concern. Uh, and I save that bot. Now what's happening is we go ahead and we set up the resources on our side on Biddlehub that act as the back end to that uh, to Discord to, to a Discord server. But in order for people to be able to interact with the bot, we actually have to add it to a Discord server. So we provide an invite link here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And I'm going to select a server. Continue. Um, by default, we put a bunch of roles in here just because we're not sure what you want to do with the bot. Uh, and we're certainly adding more and more features. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, sure, authorize everything we were asking for. And there you go. Now, if I go to my Discord server, uh, here's my bot. And I'm going to send him a message and say, help. And it says, hey, there's no commands uh, defined for the bot yet. So let's jump back over to Biddlehub and fix that. So down here, there's a section for commands. We're going to add a new command. And a command is basically any, it's sort of like what I just did there, like I did, uh, you know, exclamation help, and the bot responded. Those are, those are basically commands. We can create whatever we want in Biddlehub. So we can say something like, I want the total number of CryptoKitties that have been born so far. And what Biddlehub allows you to do is wire up uh, automations automated responses to those commands. So when a user types, you know, exclamation total kitties, we want to call a smart contract. And I'm going to call the kitty core contract. And I'm going to call total supply. Save that. Now, in order to respond, uh, Biddlehub you basically have to turn the command on. So this allows you to like turn these things on and off depending on your, your situation. So we're going to enable that uh, command response. Then we'll jump back over to Discord and I'm in a direct message with the bot and I'm going to say help again. And this time you should say, hey, you have a command. Uh, even though the syntax is, is wrong there, we'll, we'll get that fixed. But it's basically, if I say total kitties, what it's doing is it's reaching out to the CryptoKitties contract and called the contract and got a result. Now, obviously, this JSON post, I mean, it's, it's cool, we get a result, but what we really want is sort of a textual, human sort of readable response. 
Uh, so we'll go back to BiddleHub, we'll disable the flow, and then we will uh, add a step here to format the output of the previous call into just plain text. And what we want to do is we want to basically uh, refer to the previous steps output. So to do that, there's this little plus button. I click that and I can drill down and grab the output. And then I can put text around it like there are such and such kitties so far. Okay, I enable that. Go back to this guy and now I'm going to call total kitties again. And this time I should get a friendly text version of the message back. And there you go. There are such and such kitties so far. And that's how easy it is. Uh, the process is a little bit cumbersome on the Discord side, but once Biddlehub has the information it needs, you can basically wire up uh, pretty much any flow that you want uh, to respond to user commands.